let's have a chat with the chig. The chig. But who is the chig? Some of you will be wondering, lots of you will already know. The chig is Bo, we met. Am I oh, you got it right. right. We met? There we I go. mean, that's like, that, that doesn't happen. So people actually get the pronunciation. Unless I'm in Canada. Yes. Get it right in Canada. How do they normally pronounce it? Uh, Omedi or Omelette right. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard everything. But, yeah. <laughs> but it's We Met, which yeah. is kind of confusing because both We Met. Yeah. And they're like, uh, yeah, I remember. Or, no, we haven't. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's my name, which is why I keep saying that. We Met was actually. Originally, the only the first time it was ever used, the name we met was in Canada. The guy came over from France, changed his name to we met. The first one. So all the we mets can trace their lineage right back to the guy that came over. Oh, that's you know, many you centuries ago. Mm, yeah. yeah. So it's you know it's, it is a French Canadian name. Right. So, so it's cool. So do you speak fluent French? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you speak any French <laughs> no. other than your name? No. We. Oui. I had I had uh, I did take French in like high school, but I was right. very forced to. Yes. I can speak Spanish better, much better than right. right. French. Did you get to school to speak Spanish? I used to. Yeah, I had a manufacturing company. So I kind of had to learn to speak the language because most of them didn't speak any English whatsoever. All right. You know? And I, I had Spanish in college too. So I was able to pick up the language when you have to, you know, when you're talking to the guys. Yeah. So I, you know, I can't speak like proper Spanish. Or <laughs> Probably <laughs> half of the words I really can't. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Along. It yeah. Comes. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, yeah, a little more Spanish than French. Right. A little German. I'm dia beta. I remember that one. I spent two years in Germany in the army. Right. A long time ago. So I learned that phrase pretty quick. I'm dia beta. Yes, pretty <laughs> Now, you have been on YouTube for 11 years. Really? 11? 11 years. I watched that first video. <laughs> Our first Do you know video that's actually, that's not actually the first video. Oh, isn't it? The first video was so bad. <laughs> but, I mean, it had like a couple hundred thousand views. I mean, a long time ago. I mean, when a long time ago, but it was so bad. I said, ah, got to get rid of that one. <laughs> you know? I wish I had. I should have stuffed it up. Yes, yeah, it would have been fun. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the first one that's up there now is bad enough. <laughs> you know? We all like but, to but we learn. Yeah, we learn. Yeah, we learn. That's, that's kind of the reason you know, I leave it up. Because, yes. you, know, you know, people can see that. You don't have to come into YouTube, get everything perfect right away. You know, you just get on there and put the videos up. See what works, see what works for you, see what people like. Like, yeah. So you tend to have an awful lot of fun on your videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, why not, yeah. I did notice you did one on fossils, and you were saying then, mm, I'm not as much into fossils as I usually am into other yeah, things. Yeah. You know, um, I like fossils, but I like man-made stuff. I like stuff that you know, has a, a, a history that involves something. Yeah, you know, I like history because I read a lot. I read a lot about history and stuff. And, and, you know, reading about fossils and that just doesn't interest me because there's really, you know, I don't know, just fossils. You know, but you know, when, you find, when you're finding artifacts, I mean, you can you can research that. And you can start learning about different cultures and when people did things, why they did things. And pretty soon you're discovering that you know more about things than the people who wrote those books. Yes. That they were wrong about those things. You know, you kind of figure out stuff. No, your wife hmm? loves fossils, but according to what you say, she'd have enjoyed it. Am I right? Yeah, she uh, Is love the wrong word? Or is she just... She really likes fossils. Right. Um, she, she likes... She likes going out and looking for things as well. She likes like fossils and bottles, but she doesn't like the beat beat of the metal detector. For some reason, that drives her nuts. No. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, any chance I get, you know, I'll take a fossil. Honey. But is she? little bit of an insider view to it. Is she a long-suffering wife? And like, oh, boy, you brought more shells home? Or is she, oh, great, you brought more shells home? No, I think she's happy. She's very happy for me. She's happy yeah. that I have a hobby that I like. Mm -hmm. And that I'm able to, you know, reach out. I'm, I'm happy with a hobby. And I really like the fact that I can reach out and affect other people, you know, in a positive way. Like, you know, um, if I wasn't doing a hobby, collecting stuff, 
making movies. Yeah, you know, we wouldn't be here. And you know, people all over the world wouldn't be watching this movie. You know what I mean? So I think she's really happy for me for that because I've, I've kind of become maybe like almost a teacher or an educator. You know, I'm not just out there digging the coin, ooh, shiny coin, ooh, shiny coin. I try to tell little stories and look at other things around. Speaking of uh, being an educator, I think you have quite a big impact on younger people, too. Because generally you think, well, older people, I mean, not that old, but you know what I mean. Yeah. 40 to 50, you think, well, 40 to 50s, and 20 to 30s, or what, 20 to 30s. Yeah. But you seem to be drawing in a lot of younger Yeah. And We're really interested to learn what you know. Yeah, you know, and that, and that I do. I really do. I get a lot of uh, fan mails from parents that have kids that watch me, you know, letters and things, you know, just all that kind of stuff. And I'm not sure why, but, you know, they like what I do. The kids find it interesting. The parents are happy because the kids find it interesting. Um, and on the other end of the spectrum, you get the older people who can't go out anymore. And I get a lot of those uh, very grateful type emails and stuff. I used to do what you need to do. I wish I could go out there. I'm watching these. You know, I just can't get enough of it. So, um, yeah, I think I, I think that what I do, kind of what we do, kind of spans the whole spectrum. But that looking for treasure. Yes. I mean, if you get that spark in the kid when he's young, I mean, it just opens up everything. It's not just the coin, but everything. Kind of like you know what I see. You know, whether it's coin or cave or animal track somewhere. You know, it's. Everything's a treasure. Yes. Everything, every mystery is a treasure. I think children go about <laughs> desire to collect even more. I think we grow out of it as we become adults. Yeah. But as children, they really want to collect. We find all these wonderful things to collect. Yeah, and I think it, you know, you know, we being a little bit older than the generation that's out there now and the one that just before, I don't think they really had the opportunity to learn that. Mm. You know, to, to really go out and play in the dirt. Because they were on there playing their games. Yeah. They still do that. And now they can jump on YouTube, mm -hmm. see people like us of uh, yeah. metal technology yeah. like that. So it kind of, it opens up a world that a generation before they didn't have because they were too busy watching TV. There's no way to get this content. How top secret is your TV program now? Um, pretty top secret. Right. Really. Are we allowed to mention that it's happening, or do we? Need oh to no, absolutely. Um, it's uh, River Hunters with Rick Edwards and Boom It. Uh, yeah, no. Anyway, the show's going to start. Um, I think the 18th of next month. Right. We did the thing we're talking about, me and this guy, Rick, who has never met a detective before. Right. He's kind of well known over here. He does a show, I think, Impossible, I call it. Impossible? I don't know. It's on the BBC somewhere. So. I don't tend to watch But he does that, and he does other stuff, so he's kind of a, you know, people recognize him when we go places. But he never met a detective. So. It's meeting him out there, basically going around metal, metal detecting, telling stories, you know, doing you know, research on history and stuff like that. And uh, I think, I think, it, I think it'll go over well. Right. You know, because it's you know we're telling, you know, we're enjoying what we're doing. Yes. You know, we're we're just not a dry, you know, here's another boy, here's this, here's that. You know. Yeah. Um, I hope that comes through because it was a blast. It was hard work, but it was a blast. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, even if people don't actually get inspired to work with the wood, they can still enjoy it because there are disabled people or people who have no yeah. access to these areas who can't afford a metal detector. Right. Do you have a suggestion for somebody who is in a position who maybe has, is on a limited budget, they are inspired by what you've done, they want to do something, but they don't know what to do? Do you have any suggestions? Well, yeah, watch the uh, Aqua Chicken channel and, and and see what I do, and you'll see that you don't need a metal detector to go out there and look for treasure. I mean, the, the important thing is really is to get out there. You know, get out there. If you don't have nothing, no problem. I mean, I go all the time I'm just looking. You know, I find things. You find bottle dumps. You find stuff in creeks. You find stuff anywhere you look. You find stuff. Just looking. That can take you the other look. You know, it kind of you can expand from there. So my advice to anyone that wants to kind of do what I do, you know, just get started. Just go out there and walk through your park and look in the dirt. You know, and just kind of you know see what you can see. And once you get your eyes right, I mean, you'll see coins. You know, you'll see things. Like that, you know? so, yeah, but my advice is just to really get inside. You know? yep. Don't keep waiting for the right moment. No, I think people do that. Get started. Just get started. Get started. Can't afford a metal detector? No problem. Just go look. 
and I go to the local park, if there's a stream running through it, jump down in the water and just look. Yep. You, know? you need to just pay the wind. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's always cold in the water over here. It is, yes. It is. Oh, you should come to Wales, it's even colder. I've been to Wales. Yeah. Yes. Just a little bit to Wales. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I can't remember the name of that you can't, can't, you can't pronounce any of those towns anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's like a like hundred, uh, you know, consonants together. We used to it. <laughs> it's beautiful up there, though. Yes, it is a lovely place. The only problem is it's so wet. It's yeah. lovely and green because yeah. where you live, there's a lot more snow than you get. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's uh, much more extreme. The weather. I, mean, I live near Washington D.C., Mid Atlantic, well, not deep, not real south, not north. Kind of like right in the middle, but yeah, winters are uh, very cold. You know, we just had weather that was, that was uh, three, four degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit, which is like negative 15, 16 Celsius. Very cold, but in the summertime it's really, really hot and humid. You know, so it's big swings uh, season. Yeah. 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 So what do you get when it's really cold? I've seen videos of you in the snow looking at the hot items <laughs> like the yeah, and things right. and But what can you do in the winter? Well, I mean, it's much more limited. Uh, the things that I do, uh, we can't metal detect. But, you know, we'll just, you get like really hard frozen solid ground. Because when it gets below freezing, say, 20 degrees below freezing, freezing 10 degrees. The ground freezes really, really hard. So it's like concrete. You've got the, the, the dirt and the gravels and the rocks and everything just freezes really hard. You can't dig. And you take an axe and you chop at it, chop, chop, chop. And that's the only way you can do it. So you can't really go mad at tech you know, or dig bottles or anything like that. So um, I go and I'll, you know, I'll look for caves or you know, things like that. I go out hiking, looking for them. Uh, winter time is a good time, especially if it's just a little bit of snow on the ground to look for foundations of homes, uh, old road traces through the woods, uh, things like that. Because just a little bit of snow gives them a contrast. You can see the dip that you'd never see if there wasn't snow there. So go out exploring. And even if it's frozen solid, go out exploring one of the These are off the trees. That's my recommendation. Or just stay in and wait for it to get warm. That's a good one too. <laughs> Watch cheek videos and Yeah, videos. right, right, cheek videos. Yeah. Talking about exploring, you are you do tend to do some dangerous things sometimes. Like for I'll cite just an example of the road kill okay, where you were under that very big rock. What's the daftest, most dangerous thing you've done? I thought, I shouldn't have done this. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I think the most danger I'm in when I do this, is driving. You know, I think it really is the most dangerous part of the hobby. You know? I could make it much more dangerous. Like that rock, I could have scurried under it, and chipped at it and stuff like that. Perhaps really hurt myself. But I didn't, and I knew not to do that. You know? But when you're driving to a place, you have control over a lot of things, like the other drivers. To me, that is really the most dangerous part of what I do. So, I think it's a healthy way to look at it. <laughs> I want to think that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a drive. But, but no, I'm very careful. I, mean, I don't take unnecessary uh, uh, risks. You know, if I see something that's dangerous, you know, I, just, I just don't do it. Does Lindsay worry about you sometimes? Yeah, I think a little bit, but I mean, I, I tell her where I'm going. Like when I go to some place like that, she knows where I'm going to be. The when I'm there and when I expect to leave. So if I didn't show up, I mean, she could get on the phone and call up, you know, different you know, like cave buddies. They'd go check on immediately. You know, so I'm pretty, I'm, again, I'm careful. I really, really it looks like I'm just like, ah, really nearly in whatever. I'm, I'm going to care. Yeah, it surprises people, but and I should make that more clear maybe in the day -day, but, you know, you shouldn't just go wandering off in the woods and crawl down holes, you know, you really need to think Yeah. be safe, and if it's a little sketchy, get a friend, bring them, you know, and just be safe. Yeah.
but it's not the end of the world. Don't be afraid of the outdoors. Yeah, don't be afraid of that stuff because it's you know, the real dangers. Are on the road. <laughs> Sometimes you've mentioned you're in the water, yeah. and was it raccoons? Raccoons, yes. And so that could be really nasty if you get it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Well, any any water um, can have you know feces in it from any animal. Raccoons are particularly bad because right. they carry a disease called Giardia, which is a little protozoan that you know, they get in your body and you get really, really bad diarrhea. It won't kill you normally, but you'll lose like 20 pounds in two weeks, which is exactly what I did. <laughs> oh, is that, is that when you came when I was here? over here, I got really, really sick the first part of the shoot. I uh, couldn't eat for almost two weeks because, you know, you eat something and then, you know, you were tied to the bathroom for four hours. So I couldn't eat for like two weeks. Um, I kind of suspected it might be DR from a river, but as it turns out, my dear wife, <laughs> I brought home a big batch of foster kittens. You know, we foster animals, so we have these, you know, big box of strange kittens in the house, you know, perfect food. And stuff. Turns out they had Giardia. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't find this out until I got home. Oh yeah, the kids had Giardia. So I was probably, you know, handling them and put my finger in my mouth and I got it. Uh, but they in the river and nobody broke the Exactly, it's so weird. Unless, I mean, I watch out for stuff like this. Um, you know, there are a lot of things, a lot of things you can catch in the water. Uh, you have to be very careful. I always tell everybody, if you're going to go in the rivers and actually submerge your head, that uh, don't go after a rain. Because, not because there's going to flood and you're going to be in danger, but because as soon as it rains, the water hits the ground, hits the sidewalk, hits the pavement, hits the farmer's field, and it starts channeling down to the river. So if you're on the river looking, you can see this gross, disgusting water coming down. and. Uh, one part of the shoe, which I don't really think made the show, I'll tell you about this. Um, you know, this big bloated uh, ba uh, badger, your badger down there, I came down the river. Okay. So you get that kind of stuff in the water, especially after rains. Um, so you wait a couple days, let the water go down, and then it settles up. And much less take the days. And if you have cuts, you know, stay out of the river. Because they get infected really easy in the water. Yeah. Did I like wander off somewhere? No, we were talking about dangers, weren't we? <laughs> you <don't know. laughs> You're like, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> So I could talk to you for hours. Right? I don't know because it's about nine nine p.m. at the moment. Time is getting on. Oh, I need to go to bed. She's flying early at, in the morning. Twelve hours. Yeah, so I, we just Is that how cold it was? It was so cold that I had a tank of water. Got quick at the end. Thorough balls being in the tank of cold water for the day. It's not yeah. happy. <laughs> yes. Now I have been doing a lot of study. Or both, or whatever you want to call it. And I know it's a very fine line between research and stalking. And I, I found it, I, I almost didn't want to find it too much because I'm thinking, is this normal to know this much about the person? You know, I tell you, um, yeah. You know, I've met a lot of us, even over here. And you're not the first person that says, oh, I heard you're over there, can I come talk to you? Have a beer. Uh, so no, it's, it's normal on that spectrum that's almost not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's like, I'm just about on the right side of not being a smoker. No, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. No, because that's part of what I do. I try to be open and, you know, invite people to interact. Um, I think it's important, yeah. you know, with what we do. You know, it's a lot different than if I was just, you know, like a movie star or something that really has to watch. It's, it's different because you know, we're, we're different. We're different than that. I think that's you some know? of the appeal on YouTube is you get to know the person a little yeah. bit more, almost personally. Then, which can be a bit difficult because if you meet somebody who's watching you on YouTube, they know you, but don't know them. Yeah. And it can be really awkward. You find out something, people come, oh, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You? I've, I've had some kind of weird little, you know, things. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm like, yeah, it's just fine. I mean, I, you know, you know, I'm pretty confident. You know, I can take care of myself. So yeah. I'm fine. I'm, right. I meet people in, like, places like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you say, <laughs> I don't have my uh, film crew with me. 
Yeah. No. One time I had my film crew, like, they were sitting at all the tables, all the big burly guys, and I was feeding yeah. somebody. I was like, it's okay. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> Send the mind visitors. Yeah, place. they all like, okay. Well, back home. Home. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I enjoy it. Yes. And, and that's one thing that comes through. But one thing I gained from watching you on the TV, on YouTube, it's not TV, I don't suppose, is it? What is it? Well, it can be yeah, on TV. A lot, yeah. of people, a lot of people watch it on the big screen yes. TV. That kind of freaks me out a little bit because it's like. <laughs> and especially with the PhD TV now, with the little spot the size on a giant hey, TV. I had my first uh, makeup. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, kind of, I'm coming up, you know. Yeah. Like, I had to sit down, and I'm just like, all over my, paint my face with yeah. stuff. Did she cut your hair? No. No? No. She was complaining. They put clay in my hair. Any <laughs> just a bit strange. Like, I'm like, that's, that's what happens when I go caving. So right. I don't know you eat clay because it was sticking up. You know, so you said, put clay in it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was weird. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, but that's one. That's an experience. Mm. That uh, is kind of like. Sorry. Uh, that's right. that's beer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, beer. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, but you know, that's kind of one of those experiences that it's cool to have. I'm gonna say you did it. So and you can do that. Thank you. Don't worry. No, I wish. Don't worry. Have your two seconds of fame. You cut you out. <laughs> 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 Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. I'm not going to be here on my coffee, thank you. I need this, it's going to be a long ride. Oh, okay. As I was saying, as I watch you on YouTube, the one thing I find is a similarity. Did you watch, have ever, you ever seen Casey Neistat? Yeah. And I find sort of almost like the Casey Neistat of the, the searching, finding, really? discovering world. Yes, yeah, because when you watch, what well, I find when I watch Casey Neistat, I get inspired. I, yeah. I think, oh, I wish I could do that. So it gives me hope. I also live vicariously. I think, oh, yes, let's yeah. see what it is like in my first class uh, uh, play seat. But I find that yeah. with you too. And oh, not only do I get to be there and see what you do and experience things I could never experience, but it's not only the experiences I enjoy, but I do find that you instill enthusiasm, enthusiasm and hope and excitement and positivity to life. And I think that's one of the things that really attracts people to your channel. You know, I really it's bigger than the experience. I wish I knew what it was that I was kind of. Let me come back up. I kind of wish I knew what it is I'm doing that makes you feel that way. That for other people. Yeah. And I really don't know what it is I'm doing. You know what I mean? Uh, but maybe that's a good thing. So then I'm just doing, no doing. Idea what he's doing. Well, that's true. I hear that a lot. Then I'm um, inspiring for this and that. I don't know what part of what I'm doing, what I'm saying, how I'm smiling. I don't know what it is that makes people feel that like. way. I kind of wish I did. But if you did, do you think it would be false, because yeah, that's you think a problem. To do that. That's what I'm saying. I maybe I better. Up now. I just do what I like to do, yeah. which is what I what I do. And it's so, got you this far. Yeah. 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 People drive a long way to come to the chick. We do. <laughs> yes, nearly three hours. We drove to see the chick. Worth it. <laughs> I cuss like a sailor. I really do. Like her. Oh, I can't lot. believe that. I do. I curse a lot. No, no, no it's terrible. <laughs> I'm always like cutting, 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 cutting. You should leave them in one day. Just say some cheek. Well, I mean, I like mutter something under my breath as a curse word, and I, you know, like everybody, like, oh, you said the S word. Yeah. They're like, yeah. No, they don't catch you. Know, but yeah. I try to keep it clean for the kids. But well, that's it. If you're going to be a family yeah. child. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't want to be like. I don't mind having a little fun, being a little risque, you know, especially things that the kids shouldn't understand. But if they do, then they're old enough. To, yeah. You know what I mean? But there's no reason to go on there and, and curse and swear like a lot of people do. Yeah. No, we try to keep our channels family And again, that's a great joy to me to hear parents say they can sit on the couch, they know if they watch one of my videos. You know, it's not going to upset your kids. <laughs> you know? They might run around the house saying, hold your breath, you know, for the next week. You know, but that's it. Yeah. So I'm not going to run back to the and stuff. So where did the phrase, when did the phrase, hold your breath, come in? Where did you start saying that? I'm really sure. I mean, I must have said it at one point. Someone, you know, kind of 
me said something. I don't know. But then I just kind of you know, kept using it. So next thing I know, people are saying it. You know, kids and stuff. You know, so I just went. Over. Yeah. So it was kind of like a joke. Right. Yeah. Along with easy to remember. Yeah, people like that. I mean, yeah. it's weird what people think of. You know. <laughs> you know? But you do say it a lot. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Because it drives people now. nuts, too. Yeah. Yeah, I get people all. Yeah. You say that, you know, you're too much now. I'm going yeah. you know, you know, to you know, unsubscribe from you. you know? Yeah. Next video, I'll, I guarantee you next video I'll say it again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not acting like an adult. You know, I'm targeting children. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Families. <laughs> it's obviously working because you have now, last time I checked on the subscriber account, you just got a million. I checked it yesterday, one million and twenty thousand. Yeah. It's one million and twenty thousand. Yeah, it every day a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Have you got any aims to get the play button for ten million? Do you feel driven by that at all? No. no. You know, I, got, I did get a play button. I broke down and said, okay, you know. Time to stop to get the million. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> Still saving my truck. You can open it. Come on. Something crazy when you open it. Well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to yeah. like, you know, some stupid thing like find in the cave and, you know, open it. You know, I didn't know what it was. And, yeah. and I haven't done it. It's been like many, many months. Yeah. It's still in my truck unless I'm stolen. it. <laughs> I see this really is dear to your heart. The play button really is dear to your heart. Well, it's in know, my truck unless somebody stole it. I have never been one on, much on like ceremony and that kind of stuff. Like that. So, it just, that just never really floated my head. No. I just I always avoided it. I didn't go to high, my high school graduation. I only went to my graduation in the Army because they made you. I didn't go to any of my college graduations. I didn't go to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. That's you know what I mean? It's <laughs> it? You know, I never, you know, I did. It was. I got married in Portland. Another person in a little tiny room that I have never signed my name to get married. Really? So you're not really? married? Well, they say I mean, I wrote, you know, raised my hand. I have never signed my name to any document. And I think it's the strangest thing. Are you supposed to? I would think so. You sign something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think. <laughs> I don't know. This was a long time ago. She is married. Sorry, Lindsay. Who brought that up? Oh, ceremony. Ceremony. Not one of those people. You know, no. just whatever. Yeah. Play button. Oh, man. Because I've noticed that you tend to do dates with a lot of people. Like you say, oh, I'm going to be in, I don't know, the mainland area. No idea what that is. And if anybody, Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. Border to Maryland. I just, I knew that. Yeah. Maryland, Virginia. Sandwich right in between there, along the coast of Washington. My American job is shocking. Just sliding off camera. Okay. Oh, you went oh. back a bit quicker. <laughs> scaring you. No. <laughs> you're like, you're going to have fun editing this. I about this trick. Between the lighting and the sound and the noise in the back. You're going to have great fun editing this. Yeah. It'll sound like if the trick is already in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and we're interviewing him through satellite. <laughs> yeah, that's good. No, I think it's a big deal. It's good trick. <laughs> I think you're going to spend the next six months doing subtitles. <laughs> Background noise is cool. No one has a video of me doing an interview like that. With the background noise of people talking. It's cool. Yeah. It's like very organic, you know? Yeah, I like that. I say organic. Yes. In the biz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot you're in the biz now. In the biz. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure you're like me, you've got a lady at home that will keep you grounded. Yeah, she does. Yeah, <laughs> she does. Did you hear that saying? It says, behind every successful man is a woman rolling her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have to make a lot of mistakes and a lot of goofy things. And, yeah. You know, but yeah, it's good to have It's good to have the support. You know, someone yeah. that kind of keeps you on the right track. And yeah. she does. She really does. I mean, she's a sweet. Lindsay's a sweet. She looks like a lot of fun. She is. Yeah, you don't see I, much I, of her, right? Did she want to know on the channel or she's busy? She does, no, she's, she's, doesn't, no, she's kind of camera shy. Right. But, but, you know, sometimes she doesn't mind. Mm. Yeah, but she's not someone who wants to be out there. Right. She's like I was 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
I couldn't imagine pointing the camera. I'm very, I'm very shy. I'm very shy. You know, I would hide from the camera my entire life. Yeah. You know, look at this. You can't shut me up. I'm still shy now. Right, now, I thought you could wind it up. Wind up our video. By going right to the other end of the light. Okay, now then. The chick is going to die. Oh yeah, he's when gonna he's die. <laughs> ten and doing something really dangerous, or is he going to retire and dying at the beach, sipping cocktails, listening to the sea? Are you going to go to the drop, or are you going to retire at some point? Oh, you know, as far as like making videos and all this stuff, I hope they keep them. Right. Yeah. I mean, someday I might just get tired of it. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but I have no intention of like, getting to the point where you know, I just go to a beach and you know, it's still fun. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to be in the bushes, look for stuff. You might as well just put your camera along. Mm -hmm. You might as well just post it. It's fine. You know, so it never ends. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be in the woods somewhere. That's all I'm going to do. I'll be out there. Skeleton with a camera, you know. Oh, look at the pretty bear. You know, that's going to be it. <laughs> Something you discover you with a kid 30 years later. Yeah. All right, yeah. Taking the memory card yeah, out to see what Exactly. The Scratching end. the walls, post to YouTube, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, thank you for ever so much for this interview with us. It's been great. Yeah. Oh, this is the only thing I have. Shig's Army stickers. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all I have. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I shall treasure them. I feel so bad. <laughs> See this photograph or the picture reminds me that I never know how long your hair is going to be on the next video. Well, just, just a seasonal thing. You know, usually I cut it in the spring. It's only short now because they made me cut it. Yeah. You know, it was long. They said, no, you gotta look like you did last summer. So. Yeah. I cut it in the spring because right. it's hot in the summer. Because, because I put on a playlist. I never know. We go from one video to the next. Oh. And it's yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 The beard be a choice. Yeah. So thank you both for doing this interview with us. He's a real laugh. He's a really nice guy. So I recommend you get a chance to meet him. So we'll see you all next time. Right? But until then, don't forget, have fun. <laughs> Bye. And hold your breath. <laughs> Better not hold your breath that long. <laughs> <laughs>